Why scrap old cars and how? India's vehicle scrapping policy unveiled in March has now been launched. A look at how owners of old vehicles should test for fitness and why such a policy is important for the economy and environment. The launch of India's vehicle scrapping policy or the voluntary vehicle fleet modernization program seeks to usher in a new age of what it means to own and use an automobile in India. It was unveiled in Parliament in March by Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari. On Friday, while launching the policy in an investor summit in Gujarat, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said it would help phase out unfit and polluting vehicles in an environment-friendly manner. Our aim is to create a viable circular economy and bring value for all stakeholders while being environmentally responsible, he said. The policy dictates that all automobiles over a certain age should be off the roads in the interest of better pollution control and safety, which new vehicles ensure. Commercial vehicles over 15 years old and personal vehicles over 20 years old are marked for scrapping. It doesn't matter if they run on diesel or petrol. If they fail an automated fitness test, these will be deregistered. The owner can choose to scrap them but cannot use them on the road. What is a circular economy? A circular economy depends on reuse, sharing, repair, refurbishment, remanufacturing and recycling of resources to create a closed loop system, minimizing the use of resources, generation of waste, pollution and carbon emission. When a car is scrapped apart from metals including iron and steel, many other parts may emerge that can be refurbished and ploughed back into use. Recycled steel from scrap, even seeds and plastic parts have value in the scrap economy. It's, it is similar to the economic activity of scrappage of old ships like along shipping break, breaking yard in Gujarat. In a circular economy, products, materials, equipments and infrastructure are kept in use for longer, thus improving productivity. How many vehicles will come under its ambit initially? India has 51 lakh light motor vehicles that are more than 20 years old and 34 lakh over 15 years old. Around 17 lakh medium and heavy commercial vehicles are older than 15 years without valid fitness certificate, according to data with the Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways. This does not mean that vehicle owners need to rush to scrap their old vehicles. India is still not ready with the infrastructure to either test or scrap vehicles in such large numbers. The Investor Summit seeks to sensitize India's industry about the scope and profitability of the scrappage industry. Katkari had told Parliament in March that the resultant ecosystem can attract investment worth rupees. 10,000 crore and create 35,000 new jobs. When is the implementation happening? The government has come out with rules and specifications on what kind of automated fitness centers should come up and who can set them up. It has also come up with how the scrapping yard should be. It will give India INC time to come up with an ecosystem wherein Testing and subsequent scrapping can happen organically without the consumer facing duress. That is why mandatory testing of heavy commercial vehicles will start in April 2023 and that of the other categories of vehicles, personal vehicles for instance will start in a phased manner in June 2024. There are talks within the government to alter the rollout plan by a few months. Why should I scrap? To help vehicle owners find a reason to retire old vehicles, the government envisages that the scrappage certificate will entitle the owner with something extra, such as tax rebate, SOPs and discount on the new car. The certificate is tradable which means it can be used by anyone and not necessarily by the owner of the scrap vehicle. Does it help the economy? Globally, a scrappage policy has been followed by boost in demand in the auto manufacturing sector, especially in Europe and the US. 
This has also been a tool to deal with economic slowdown in the manufacturing sector and consumption due to recession. Besides, there are spelled out benefits which have his environment since new car come with better emission standards and better fuel efficiency. What if an old personal vehicle passes the fitness test? In that case, the owner can continue to use it but the charges for registration will be much deeper. In a draft notification issued in March, re-registration charges of all vehicles have been proposed to be hiked from 8 to around 20 times, depending on the type of vehicle. These charges will kick in from October this year. Personal vehicles, for instance, are up for re-registration after they have completed 15 years. What will the fitness centers be like? Automated fitness centers will have tracks and equipment suitable to test for various criteria such as emission norms, braking and other parameters without human intervention. The ministry has requested states to consider providing land for free for the, these centers. Market demand will drive the number and concentration of fitness centers in an urban area. For example, Delhi with huge vehicle fleet may have more fitness centers than a city with much fewer cars. But the government wants to at least 7, 1, 8 or 1 in each district. The center is promoting model inspection and certification centers worth Rs 17 crore in all states. It has sanctioned 20 such model centers. The center does not want these facilities too far from city centers so that vehicle owners do not have to travel great distances. As for scrapping centers, the ministry has elaborated how these will be operated. These are not exactly new in India. Notably, MMRPL, a joint venture between Mahindra and state-owned MSTC Limited, is one of the first such centers in India operating out of Greater Noida. Thank you.